things, but way back in, in Montreal, when I started out, the band I had opened up all the English invasion back in the 60s. So, so what happens is they, they came to the shows, and, and, and they came over to the shows from England to get their papers. They had to get their, their visas to play these shows back in the 60s. So the first show they came to play was in Montreal to get the papers, yada yada, across the border to the big one in New York. I'm going back to like it's this is like you know uh, a long time ago. It's pre-Civil War. How's that? So we're playing these shows with all the English bands. The band I had played with Hendrix, Cream, The Who, any bands that came over from England from the evasion, right? So they came over and we would open the show. So that's how I got to know a lot of these guys before they were heroes, you know? And the first guy I saw that I wanted to be was, was Keith Moon. You know, I watched this guy and I'm going, this guy's like a like a playground for himself. He's an amusement park. But he had tremendous joy and passion when he was playing. So dig this. I'm watching him. I'm, this is, goes back when I was 15, 16 years old. And I'm looking at Keith Moon and I say, you know what? I want to be just like him. And that's what inspiration is. It's beyond like I want to look or feel like. I wanted to be him. At the same time, I was having a great deal of fun writing songs. And I equated at that time, remember Bob Dylan had that Nashville Skyline record. And I remember, I said, wow, these songs. Oh. So I was very lucky because at that time, I was working on songs like Yaskers Farm. And I was writing all the time with my bass player at the time. And I was very fortunate. I loved writing songs. So I was conflicted because what's happening? Gonna mess with I was, listen, I was conflicted. I had Keith Moon drums and I had Dylan writing lyrics. I'm not, I'm not quite. Because this is a hockey rink. This is the floor. There's a guy screaming. Talking. I gotta get me fucking jacket. 
Me grandma made me jack and I got to go back to the stage. I left me jack and on the stage. And I hear him screaming and crying. And then I, I look out and he's out in the hallway. And he's wearing nothing. But it's, it's whatever he, they wear in England, around their balls. I don't know. And then,